Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up a creator account with Patreon. We talked last week about Patreon, the site that provides a link between patrons and creators, spurring on what I like to call scaled micro-patreonism. The ability of a lot of people to give a little and fund a creator, scholar or thinker. I've created a Patreon site for The Tech Doctor, linked up here and in the comments below. So you can donate a little to help the channel grow and collect some perks for yourself at the same time. If you choose to support us, thank you so much. If you're a creator or know someone who is, it's completely free to set up a Patreon site. Although Patreon do collect a small percentage of the monthly payments in the range of five to 12%, depending on the level you choose. At the moment, this channel makes a little bit of change out of affiliate links. So if I were to make any money out of Patreon, it would be a bonus, even if I have to pay them back 8% of that on the tier that I'm currently using. Enough of the why, you came here for how to. How do you make a Patreon creator page? Well, you start by going to patreon.com and then clicking the link that says, get started. You can either sign up with a Google account, a Facebook account, or just using an email address and password. You can use the same account as a patron and as a creator. So if you already have one, use that. I'm using my Google account, so all I have to do is pick the correct account and log in. Next, I select the type of content I create. Videos. My work doesn't contain any 18 plus or adult material, so I select no here. If your work does contain nudity, there are some restrictions that apply, including some payment methods that are not available. Next, I select Australian dollars, because I'm in Australia and want to get paid in Australian dollars. Next is an offer for Merch for Membership, a system that allows you to design your own merch, add it to a tier, and let Patreon handle production, shipping, and support for an extra 4%. I already have some merch with Redbubble, which you can see up here, so I don't really want this. I then verified myself by linking my YouTube account, so I could reserve my specific Patreon URL. Because I signed in with a Google account, I'm already logged in. And all I had to do was choose the correct account and channel and let Patreon view my YouTube account. Now I can start customizing. I set the page name and then the page headline and then added a URL. Thankfully, nobody was using Tech Doctor. Here I added some basic about info, which I then fixed up later. I opted not to add a link to an intro video as I'm going to go and record a specific one and link to that. I then set a profile photo and a cover photo, although I went back and changed both of them to get them right later. I had to make the logo smaller in a big black square in order to make it fit in the circle properly. I also added some more text to the about box because it requires at least 100 characters. I then clicked the link to finish my account details and picked a brand color and set the details of my earnings visibility and patron count visibility. This was enough to save changes and let me launch the site. As far as I can tell, there's nothing here other than maybe the URL that you can't change at a later date. The step that I couldn't initially find was the membership tiers. To find it, you go to page down on the left and then edit page. And then in the menu at the top, which may be a drop down box if your screen is narrower, you select tiers. I was then able to set up the tiers that I wanted with the specific price points and benefits from the huge selection that Patreon offer. Even just looking at this list gave me some ideas. The final step was to set up payout information. I had to select between individual or business and US and non US. Next, I had to select a country, and then I was offered a couple of options for payout, either PayPal or Payoneer. I already have a PayPal account, so that was easy. I just entered my PayPal details. There is a limitation on how frequently you can change payout details, so I was now locked out of changing that for five days. Depending on the selections you made above, you may be required to enter further details. In my case, I had to provide a taxation number on a W-8-BEN-E form. 
So that's the basis of setting up an account for a creator on Patreon. As I said, there's not much that you can't change at any time after you start. And I've gone and done a lot of customizing since I set it up just last week. Question of the day, can you see yourself on Patreon? There's all sorts of creators on there. Maybe go and have a look around. Did you start up yourself? Or find somebody else that was interesting? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, and our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode, or maybe even on Patreon. Bye.